Alan Limas. I'm from uh, LA, raised in Orange County. I've been cutting hair for 13 years now. My name is uh, Gabriel Davila. Uh, I've been cutting hair for about like six years, dude, but I've been cutting hair, you know, ever since high school. Roland Heinel from Garden Grove, California. Uh, been cutting hair for seven years. My name's Stacy, and uh, I've been cutting hair for 22 years. Um, this is my second store. This one here I've had for, it'll be six years in September. I uh, got into it and ended up being good with my hands. What I did was try and put my lifestyle around this. So I've kind of made a place that I don't mind coming to. Yeah. You know, sometimes it doesn't feel like work. Right. I don't know, I kind of got into barbering. I had a, a great uncle that was a barber in Westminster. I grew up going to his shop. I've been cutting hair, you know, ever since high school. All the buddies in the garage, neighbors. And I got into it because there was nothing else I could do out there. I was really good with my hands and I was never a school guy. You know, freedom to do however far you want to go, it's all up to you, you know. If you're a hard worker, then you're going to go pretty far. But. The independence, yeah, probably. I don't have somebody to be down my neck all day. Yeah. Kind of work and not my leisure, but, you know, take my breaks when I want. Take my time on the different cuts I need to. Move through other cuts, you know, faster. Right. So. I mean, any kind of familiarity is awesome because then you can just sit them down. Don't have to ask them anything. Move through the cut. Get them going and, you know. It's, it's weird, you don't really realize how much of a part of people's lives you become. Even though the wait, when they get their turn, they're going to get the same time that the other guy got, and it's not a gamble. You're going to get the haircut. Tribute to us, but it's also a blessing. I won't, I won't count anything short that, that, that we're lucky, too. I just won't. You don't, like I say, you don't realize how much of someone's life you become. Not necessarily they become part of your life like that because you see so many people on the average. But, dude, yeah, how many people are just... Well, you're their many, doctor, their dentist, you're, that's you're that's that saying. automatic they can depend on. That's what I'm saying, dude. Yeah. How many people, you know, introduce you, oh, that's my barber, that's my barber, that's my barber, you know what I mean? Because it is. It's a great mix between having a great group of guys and a great group of customers. It's a great fucking deal. Uh, you know what, I don't think I could ask for anything more because guys that we work with right here, it works out, dude. You know, it's awesome. So we've got great, great chemistry right here. Yeah, it's fun treating people good. I love what I do, dude. I'm going to stick with it for the rest of my life, probably. Unless I win the lotto or something. I really believe this. If you can treat people the way you want to be treated, and do that over and over again, and do the haircut that that you would wear when they ask for something that you don't let that cut go until you'd be satisfied with that, you can make a living out of it for a long time.